bridge is in front of us, it's very clear. Shipping can go under the uh, center struts. over on the left hand side in the distance uh, is the uh, turning torso building um, I'll talk about that when we get spinal column and the rest of the ribs and the body is churning the upper body is churning and it's that's why it's called the turning torso and the windows in the apartments had to be specially made because they're not your normal stand box standard square we are now in sweden and in front of us is the little city of malmo it's called the city of parks and of the Swedish cities, it's the highest concentration, concentration of restaurants per capita. Therefore, it's also famous for its food. In Malmö, there's a 15th century castle. And the complete opposite when it comes to architecture is the turning torso. A remarkable building that got the world's attention for its uniqueness. Malmo has a population of around 300,000 and it's an important route to and from Scandinavia, the Baltic region and Europe makes Malmo a perfect base for businesses. Those of you on the left hand side of the coach can see more clearly what I mean by the turn in that building over there. The name Jan comes from a creek situated at the western part of the city in Tel Aviv and the location of the first known settlement here and Kupin is another name for trading center or marketplace the first settlement was harassed by the Danes uh, the first fortifications were built in the 16th and 17th centuries and uh, Jankopin became known for its matchstick industry between 1845 and 1970. The city is still important uh, for its Swedish logistical center. Central company uh, warehouses of IKEA, Electrolux and Husqvarna, the gardening and farming implements company are based here. Into the outer urban district of Stockholm. Stockholm is the largest city of Sweden and its capital. Population of around 815,500 in the inner city. 1.3 million in the urban areas, so around about 2 million in the metropolitan area. Stockholm has been the cultural, political and economic centre of Sweden since the 13th century. Its strategic uh, location on 14 islands on the south central east coast of Sweden at the mouth of Lake Malaren 
has also been historically important. Since Stockholm is built on islands, the city has often been called the Venice of the North. Over 30% of the city area is made up of waterways, another 30% parks and other green spaces. In 2009, Stockholm was awarded the title of the first European green capital by the European Commission. It also has one of the largest shopping districts in Scandinavia. This is concentrated around the town square centre called Normalm, which is the city centre. In one of its green park areas is to be found the Skansen Park. The Skansen Park is the world's first open air, air museum, opened in 1891, to show how people once lived. Around 150 buildings have been assembled here from all over Scandinavia and they portray the life of both the gentry and peasant as well as a lap culture. Close by is a building which was erected around the Vasa ship. This ship capsized in the Stockholm Harbour on its maiden voyage. It was rediscovered in 1956, spent years under uh, water in a building, being sprayed constantly. Uh, visitors were allowed inside, but you had to enter through these plastic doors to keep the humidity in. When you came out, you were like a wet dish rack. Since then, um, the timbers have been uh, reconstructed. When I first went in in 1976, it was just a shell. Since then, uh, the whole ship has been reconstructed painstakingly uh, to 95% of its original appearance. And it's one thing uh, that when you come back to Stockholm, you really must visit. Yeah. 
lagi ya musik lu 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 ya designed the new capital in of Helsinki. In 1918, the only Swedish language university was founded in Turku. million. It's the eighth largest country in Europe and the most sparsely populated country in the EU. It has a central government which is based in Helsinki and Finland joined the United Nations in 1955 and the Eurozone in 1999. 
and it's also in the uh, the EU. It was uh, joined in 1995, so it took four years for them to uh, go into the Eurozone. So now we play with Euros. Yeah. We're in Euroland now. guide will be waiting for us and we'll start our two hour tour so this is why we're going to have a toilet break before we get to Helsinki uh, the four of you that are not doing the tour uh, where we drop you off is exactly where we'll pick everyone up uh, at uh, two o'clock this afternoon won't we? Sim yeah give or take a lamb's wool but um, it will be around about two o'clock but we'll give you a better idea when we get to Helsinki uh, those of you going on the tour, you will have uh, a, an hour to an hour and a half free time after the tour for you to wander around the beautiful heart of the city of Helsinki. Thank you. 